Joe Ebanks became the first player at the 2011 WSOP to take home more than $1 million in one event. And Leonard Martin took down the $2,500 deuce to seven triple draw in this edition of Battle for the Bracelets. Joe Ender 555 Ebanks took down the 10k6 max No Limit Hold'em Championship for his first gold bracelet and $1.16 million. It's, it's amazing to win the bracelet, especially in the 10k6 max. I couldn't ask for a better tournament besides the main to win a bracelet in. Actually, it was, really, it was pretty smooth up until the final table. Uh, with eight left, I took kind of a bad beat and I could have been out, but uh, I came back and and kept all my chips and uh, just didn't really do anything stupid and, and yeah. In order to win this prestigious event, Ebanks had to beat out some of the toughest tournament players in the world, with his final table alone featuring Mike Sowers, Elke, Tristan Wade, 2010 Car Player Online Player of the Year Taylor Parr and his heads-up opponent Chris Moorman. I've played against everyone there before, a lot online and a lot live too and especially Elke has Elke has taken me out really deep in tournaments before and he's always really tough and uh, but everyone's really really tough there. Leonard Martin originally from the Ukraine has been a poker pro for a quarter century and has years of experience as a mixed games player. Well I uh, started out uh, in poker in mid 80s at the bicycle club in LA and then in 1989 I moved to Las Vegas and decided to make a career out of it and um, I've been playing poker ever since. Uh, I started out as a limit holding player then started playing other games ended up as a mixed game uh, player and uh, just a seven low ball is uh, one of the uh, parts of the mix combination. Martin used all of his experience to take down his first WSOP bracelet in triple draw deuce to seven after having made the final table of this event three out of the last five years. It feels great. This is uh, something that's been haunting me for a long time. I, I feel like I should have won in 2007. I had uh, all the chips and uh, there was one critical hand where I got extremely unlucky against a very dear friend of mine, Rafi Amid. He ended up winning uh, that bracelet and it's been haunting me ever since. So this is uh, a monkey off my back. Congratulations once again to Leonard Martin and Joe Ebanks, your latest 2011 WSOP champions.